Hey, this is Mark Paradust. Thanks for joining me for episode 22 of my Rich Explorer Mumma playthrough. And we are hot off the heels of the successful base invasion. I've just sent a screw br 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 into this room to see what it was, and it's just another bed. A marble bed, admittedly, but another bed. None is still the same. So, we are letting everybody just take a breather after the battle, and then I'll set up a couple of things to happen. Major break risk. Flanker, what's Flanker up to? Going for a walk. Why is he upset? He's in pain, he sees some corpses, he slept in the cold ages ago. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, yeah, he got involved in a little bit of uh, melee fighting, didn't he? Because you'll see he's a melee fighter, so I'll let him chill out and do his thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to um, uh, deconstruct the solar panel and this as well. We are building a transport pod as soon as the transport, sorry, the pod launcher. As soon as the pod launcher is up, we're going to put a pod in and we're going to load all this good stuff on. We are going to take um, some of the armour of the dead people, although it's tainted, then people with bloodlust can wear it uh, with no issues whatsoever. And a couple, there's some nice bits of kit here. Not loads of it, but some nice nonetheless. While all that's going on, I've marked some plastic here to be mined, simply because it's there and it's quite nice to grab. We don't need the um, uh, the bedrolls, uh, the food up here we'll come and get if we need to. The chem fuel we could probably grab and also the uh, components as well, but I'll let them grab it as necessary. So I'll just let them kind of crack on and do that. The work, uh, the work items are all here. They're set to do mining and stuff. I'm going to untick growing actually for now because there's nothing to grow. I'll set up a stockpile zone here just so they can start collecting stuff. Um, and yeah, it's looking good. We're going to also uninstall the steel mortar because you want that. I think he's cleaning because of the common sense mod. <laughs> All right, cool. It may not be a bad idea to get some of these bodies hauled away so they don't keep picking up debuffs from it. Now, one of the people here, I think, might be Bloodlust. Let's have a quick look. Bloodlust is Anthusia. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get Anthusia to be a number one at hauling, even though she is injured, which is... Okay, it's not too bad, actually. I'm going to get her to haul these bodies down to a dumping stockpile, kind of just down here, where they're not going to bother anybody. Uh, let's get rid of that. Corpses. Uh, we don't care about those two. We're going to not... see. there's no colonist corpses anyway. But that's fine. I'll make that critical. So she's going to take the bodies down there as a priority. Orc, meanwhile, is going to tend to Yumi. What's up with Yumi? I'd rather... That's quite a long walk, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think anybody here actually has any bleeds that are that serious. So I'm going to put everybody on... Oh, where is it? So, yeah, so just... Is that no... Hang on a sec. Yeah, doc's care, no medicine. That's what I want. So there's no long walking up to the hill route. It's just not, not really necessary. Um, and it's... Could be cleaner in here, couldn't it? Let's just make sure that there's no silly infections picked up. Um, I'm going to get you to... Oops. Clean the rock rubble. Clean all this yuck in here. That's good. Just to make sure that he seems to be a lot of cleaning. What else is he actually supposed to be doing here? So, yep, hauling. I'll stick on hauling, actually. Hauling is quite important. Although, I don't want him to haul the bodies, if I can avoid it. And he would pick up the debuffs, so I might actually back him off on that. Okay. Yeah, so so the, the, the hauling should happen here anyway. Okay, right. I shall get on with this, and I'll be right back. So I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I've had a quest to request come in. Um, Riesling Bacchus has asked me to basically take 26 hives. But the rewards are really nice. Locust Armour and Cataphract Helmet. That is pretty epic. Now with the Locust Armour, it's decent armour and it's actually got a jump pack built into it. So you can wear Locust Armour and then an extra utility belt. So they can obviously be jumping and something else at the same time. This one down here is pretty nice. I do could care less about the goodwill, but um, this is all quite nice. But this is really very, very good. And anti-grain warheads, I think, are absolutely fantastic. Hmm. 26 hives is nothing to sniff about. But we've dealt with more with about the same sort of people. And they're going to give us four berserkers. Now, the problem with the berserkers is that they're not very well armed at all. Because they're obviously tribals. So they probably won't last very long could care less. So I'm tempted to accept that and I will accept it once everybody's home again. Well, as it turns out, you can't make these things up. Because RimWorld is a harsh and unforgiving place, it seems that although I've uh, loaded the transport pod with all the good stuff and I click on launch, it seems that <laughs> I'm one, one hex short. Hmm, maybe my calculations weren't quite as accurate as I thought they would be. 
That's frustrating. Hmm. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I'm going to take out a couple of the most important bits and I'm going to send the rest over to the Rarium Accord. I'll get plus 25 standing with them. Which takes me up to, yeah, which will make them allies. So I think that's got to be worth something, right? Yeah, I'll okay. go. That's frustrating. <laughs> For the want of, what, 10 chem fuel or something ridiculous like that. Oh well, it is what it is. So the caravan has arrived back in one piece, which is excellent news. That's going to dump off their stuff. And uh, then we can focus on accepting the quest to take the bugs. This should be quite interesting. I wonder where they'll land. 26 bugs. We don't have much. It's probably going to be in here, I'd say. But we can we can try and tempt them in and we can attack them at a choke point using grenades and the four berserkers they're very happily going to give us. I think it's doable. It is doable. 26 is uh, 40, 40, 50, 60 bugs. It's probably three or four to a three, four to a nest. Anyway, we shall see. Well, love is definitely still in the air. Lorenzo has proposed to Viana. He was playing cards. She was meditating. How about it? And she's accepted. Oh, that's nice. Viana, nurse, will change her last name to York. That's very exciting. So at some point we're going to have a marriage. Do I have a marriage spot? I don't. Let me just set that up. Set up a marriage spot. It's going to have to be in here, isn't it? Somewhere nice. By the beds. Yes, I think so. Ah, oh, great stuff. So we'll notice that uh, Anthusia and Lorenzo, who are both um, bloodlust, have uh, put on the recon helmets that we have appropriated. Oops, sorry. Where's Anthusia? Here. The, re the recon helmets that we've appropriated from the raid that we just did. So because they're bloodlust, they have no problem with wearing it whatsoever. Doesn't make any difference to them. So that's good. So their heads are very, very well protected now. We have um, also brought back some other armour. Um, but it looks like they're not going to put it on because the combination of what they have already with uh, well, with Anthusia, for instance, has got a blue fur duster and a flak vest and the hyperweave. Um, that's, that combination is better than, than clearly just that because they would make the decision for themselves and it's uh, clearly better. So lots of stuff to sell. We can't sell the tainted stuff. We'll probably fire it off to a town just to get some goodwill uh, in due course. Um, yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? All right. So we're going to accept the uh, the quests now. I think we're going to accept the... This is going to be too useful moving forward. The Antiquary Warheads, I think, are, are super useful for defending against uh, sieges or something like that. But it's only three times and their usage is kind of niche and then, then you're gone. They're not going to get replaced. The Eltex Vest, the Barnicar, the Power Claw, again, useful. I don't think as useful as these two moving forward, so I'm going to go for this. I'll be interested to see when they appear. Okay, so we've got some... So, so these dudes are arriving to Berserkers. They're not under my control. Oh, they are under my control. Okay, that's fine. They're taking Panoxycyline. No, you're not taking Panoxycyline. You're taking my Panoxycyline. No, I don't think you are, actually. Um, that's not part of the game. So I'm going to assign you to your drug policy to take no drugs whatsoever. And that should stop you from using up my beautiful panoxycyline. Is that going to stop them? Let's have a quick look. Yes, it does. Excellent. Yes, very good. All right. So that's them. They're here. Lovely. They don't appear on my on my list. Oh no, they do. Sorry, they're just in the middle. Okay. Let's uh, let's drag these these ones over to the edge here. Right, infestation. Where are they appearing? Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. All right, let's jump to it. 23. This is going to be very, <laughs> very, very interesting indeed. Hmm. Okay. Probably going to face them here, I think. That makes a lot of sense. Let's get everybody together. We want to get... Uh, let me just put these guys down the bottom here. They're getting straight into the action. They come with spears, which are good, because spears do do quite a nice amount of damage. Um, I'm going to want somebody on grenades now. You're going to put on grenades. Probably... we get Lorenzo on the grenades. Where's Lorenzo? Wow, okay. Lorenzo, my friend. You're going to get down here. You're going to get on the grenades. Quick fire grenades. Then you're going to come to... Probably there, I think, just to get you set up. Everybody else, apart from Lorenzo, 
is going to come to here. Let's get everybody inside. Oh, I don't like that. It looks like Scribber is potentially going to get caught out. I need to be very careful with this chap. I'm going to move him to there, move him to there, then to here, and then to here. Oh, I didn't hold down the shift key. Wow, that's good. Move him to there, move him to the here, up to here, up to here, and then to here. Okay, that should hopefully make him go around the worst of it. Now, next thing we need to do is bring the animals to... Um, we're going to get the animal police, put them all in the animal police zone, apart from the boomlopes. I'm going to put them in animal safe. Don't any boomlopes getting involved. Everybody else can be, absolutely. Oh, hang on. Yep, missed one. Okay, they're all going to animal police. Now, let's make sure that the animal police is where we want it to be, which is kind of hereabouts. And we will remove the animal police from wherever they were previously. I don't know where that is, but I don't want it to be anywhere else apart from here. Okay, right. I believe that's what we need to do. Now, just check the animal safe zone. Animal safe is in there. That's too small, I think. We'll put the animal safe probably up here. And remove the animal safe from here. Just so they got some food to eat so they're not kind of stuffed into this very small area. Okay, let's do it. I hear that noise. Oh, the zoning is coming up here as well. Oh, that could be... We may have to fall back to this. I don't know, we shall see. If he starts digging through the wall straight away, we've got a major problem. This is making me sweat. Speed things up a little bit. Oh, good God. That's a lot, isn't it? Wow. They're already trying to chew through the walls. On the plus side, when I cleared this, I'll be rich. <laughs> I'll have so much insect jelly. All right, what are we dealing with? It's 27 mega spiders, 25 spelle spellipedes, spellipedes, and 25 mega scarabs. So that's 25, 27, okay, that's 52. And 25 again. Is that 25 times 2? Do I just count them again? All oh, right, okay. So what, 77? Yeah, 77 insects. Good grief. All right, on the plus side, we've got jelly. 45. No, clicked the wrong thing, didn't I? 520 insect jelly, and each of these will drop insect jelly when they die. So we are going to be quite rich. We're going to go on a spending spree. All right. Whew. All right, let's do this. So we can get these guys going to come down to here. Lorenzo's coming down to pick up his weapon, and we're going to get him to come down to here. Now, the animal things I put in the wrong spot. I should have put them down here. But that's fine. That's my mistake. Um, what I don't want this guy to do, digging at granite wall. Is it? Oh, it's that one he's digging at. <sighs> I could do with that, them coming in through the side here. I'm going to leave that open for now. If you have to make a hasty escape, we can. Right, everybody here is going to come down to here. We've done that already. And we're going to put animal police down to this zone, just so they're there if we need them. The animal's going to be quite an important blocker here. Clear animal police from here. Okay, let's do this. Don't dig through that. Don't just stop. He's going to keep going, isn't he? Okay. He's going to keep going. That's fine. We're going to have to make our stand here instead. So I'm going to have to undo all of just <laughs> undo all of everything that I just did. Uh, is Lorenzo with us now? Lorenzo has the grenades. That's perfect. So Lorenzo, you go there. I'm going to have to undo the zoning. So let's put the animal animal police are going to go up to here. In fact, what I'm going to do, animal police, is put them there. Just one back actually. And um, we are going to, no, I'll put them in there. I don't know if they can squeeze in if there's a diagonal. Clear and clear that one as well. Come on, animals, come on. No, dudes. Donkey's going for it. Oh dear. All right. So we're going to put, hang on, flanker. Going to put these guys at the front. Moving all our traps. Oh, I don't even want to hear that ripping skin noise. Hmm. 
Right, so we've got a few coming through here, which is interesting. Okay. They're not coming through the open door, the open routes we have here. We're going to send somebody down to try and um, to just get them in on this. Right, now where's the guy with the grenades? Guy with the grenades, where is Lorenzo? Lorenzo, brilliant. You want to go there, Lorenzo? You want to go here. Porcupine. I think Berserk would be quite useful. Would he be quite useful? He's not going to last two seconds, is he? Let's. I just want to try and... Um, I'll just fire. I'll just fire. And I'll, I'll save all the, all the interesting stuff for, for a minute. Okay, so those two are going through. Need to keep an eye on them. I'm tempted to send a couple of my guys back to deal with them. Because they're not not everyone's going to be needed here. Just the the back. Let's send three. Okay. Porcupine, how's it going? Oh, here, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Right, Porcupine, you're back here. Right, Lorenzo, you're going to start lobbing grenades. I've done this again, haven't I, with Lorenzo? I can't believe I keep doing this. Right, Lorenzo's going to drop his shield belt. Okay. Now what Lorenzo's going to do is we're going to take off fire at will. Lorenzo's not going to fire at will. And he's going to fire grenades to this spot here. Because grenades have a built-in potentially one miss. So he's going to go throw it to there. This dude's going to go there. Here they come. Oh, that's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Hmm. God, there's a lot coming through here, isn't there? Okay. Right, let's hold that door open. You guys are going to come through here. You're at the back. Squirt. You're going to come there. Now, porcupine. Because the big guys have arrived. We're going to do blinding pulse. We're going to do it there. And we're going to do... Maybe berserk at the back probably couldn't hurt. Beautiful. Okay. These guys are coming through. So, scrubber ball is going to be... It's going to be here. Oh, no, these guys here are firing. No, 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 no. That's very bad. We don't want that to be happening. Um, flank is going to get up here. I think we'll have Flank in the doorway. Are these guys being actually used yet? No, we're going to have you in the doorway. Okay, you guys, hold fire. Don't fire at will. Okay. Yumi can move up one. And Fusion moves up one. May, hold fire. In fact, May can actually move up as well. Right. Lorenzo, keep firing. You're going to go there. Okay, Porcupine, have you lost your heat yet? Your neural heat? 32. Okay, we'll do that again. Zerk, the back. Good grief. And... Okay. Our animals are paying a heavy price for this. Very, very heavy price for this. Oh, not Burton as well. Not Burton. It's getting chopped up. However, they are running out. They are running out. It's going to get quite quite nasty at the top here, by the looks of it. Orc is not firing. That's because these two have been set to not fire at will. All right. Okay, that's good. That's all going on. Flank is in the front line, however. But they're getting killed quite quickly. Viana's at the back. That's fine. Hicklin is probably not going to get into it. I'm going to put Hicklin up here. Um, so everyone else here is good. You're going to go to the middle. Do you know, it's these grenades that are causing the deaths, isn't it? It's the, every time a grenade goes off, one of my horses dies. I think what I've done is they've spilling over and the grenades are falling. 
here. So if I just do it, I'll do it here instead. Where the heck are this lot going? Wow. Okay. Oh, is that somebody firing down? Zekas. <laughs> Why are you firing over here? Seriously, dude. Okay, that's the... Oh, he's inside. Oh, we left doors open and everything. Wow, okay. Uh, that's kind of frustrating. Is there any more coming up through here? There's not. Okay, so we're going to have to now... These are all dead, right? No, stop firing over there. You guys are going to have to come over here. Everybody is going to come over here. Or it rolls off. Okay. So, Hicklin is in the front line. He's he's had a gunshot. <laughs> God. Okay, Hicklin, uh, you're going to go do that. Open the door. As soon as that happens, you're going to step to one side. You're going to step to one side. Can I make you step to one side? Squirt, you're going here. All right, you guys can now fire at will again. In fact, Squirt, you go there. Sorry, Squirt. You're going there. And you're going to go here. You're going to go up. Okay, how are we doing? Porcupine, blinding pulse would probably go very well. All right. So, Porcupine's done what she can down here. I need some get her to probably move up here now. Help these traps out. Connors needs rescue. Ouch. Oh no. Oh, it's just those guys. Good to care about that. All right, everybody here with the guns. Focus fire on... Let's do... Porcupine's here. Yay! Right, we're going to do Vertigo Pulse here. Lovely. How are you doing here? Okay, Lorenzo can probably stop firing now. Not much left there. I think we have pretty much dealt with them. Whoa! Somebody hit May! <laughs> oh! Friendly fire! Come on, guys. This is ridiculous. I need you all to go in and attack this one, and then attack this one. Yeah. Sweet as a nut. Right, stop firing. Don't fire at will. So I not just say don't fire at will. Okay, done, done and dusted. Whew. Okay, that went pretty well. Apart from all my animals, how how is the oh god, so many died. That's horrendous. Okay, we're gonna have to go on operation, patch everybody up, and count all the friendly fire. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put these guys on hauling one, cleaning one. I don't care what else they do. They don't need to do anything else. Anybody here a good doctor? Two and... Uh, no, no, not really. Um, how about handling? Oh, what about you? Nine. Yes. Yes, sir. You can be doing that as well. Okay. Ooh. All right. That's good. Everyone can go. Everyone here can go. I need to make sure though that any of these let's check the damage here. He's got cut. Okay, Hickling can go. Squirt's pretty good. So squirt and flanker. I think flankers. Let me just double check flanker again. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, squirt and flanker can go around and put down these things. Hang on a minute. Oh, be on it. You can go. Right, Squirt is going to mega, uh, yep, and Hicklin is going to, uh, is he not, uh, Hicklin, I thought I'd let Hicklin go, what's he doing, he's tending, oh bless him, I think you should probably lie down Hicklin, 83%, you're going to get infection central here, hang on a minute, Hicklin, patient, yes, go and lie down dude, seriously, 
still tending. Like bed rest comes after doctor. Oh no, it's patient. Go to medical bed if you have an immediate life-threatening health condition. That he sh that should take priority over doctoring. All right, do you know what? That's fine. You crack on with that. Right, squirt. Pick squirt. Watch for targets. Do that one. Flank cursing body left here. Yeah. Melee attack. Stallion fall to death. No. I think everything's dead. Right. Let's just um, allow flanker and. That's it now. So flanker can go. I need um, some people to come out here and kill these hives. But we've got a few days first. And each hive I kill is going to get me insect jelly. And I've got 520. I can't remember how much they're worth each, but it's quite a lot. Anyway, so we're stabilising the mare. That's what that's what Hicklin was up to. Oh, she's pregnant as well. Oh. Medical emergency. Oh, dude. Sorry, man. What can I say? It's not so nice in here now, is it? All right. So we've done pretty well here. Unfortunately, a lot of animals died, which is very unfortunate. Patching up the ones that are left. We've got a lot of cleanup to do. Um, let me, who have you got on cleaning? Looks like... Um, Enthusiast holding over hauling. Let's change that. We'll get these guys to clean as much as they can. Hopefully in here will be quite good. Uh, Bidorvas. Yes, we're going to get him to clean after he's eaten. Just make sure that's all gets done. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll crack on with the cleaning and we'll crack on with the killing of these and picking up the uh, the gel, jelly. Gel, what are talking about? And uh, I'll be back. So we were just tidying up the um, the hives down here when two of them popped out some more mega spiders. So I'm not going to take this lightly. They are, mm, yeah, we are going to take these guys out. Viana can stay inside. Actually, I think we've got enough people here to do what we need to. I'm going to make sure that we uh, we take these guys. Let's get outside. Let's get in the open. So everybody can attack this dude. firepower for this to be not much of a big deal. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get everybody to come around now. Well, people with guns anyway. Put them in a corner and then they can shoot the heck out of all the nests. Those two can go. Oh, has the mayor not been picked up yet? The mayor's been patched, but not picked up. Right, I'll get uh, Bidorvas to come back and rescue. All right. So we're going to uh, just basically go around in a big lump here and um, deal with these. So if anybody, if any more spiders pop out of these things, um, then... Can be dealt with. With this much firepower, it's not that much of a big deal. It's a thing of beauty, in fact. Oh, look at that. Now, how much uh, how much jelly do we get from this? 1,665. That's insane. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Pots have arrived because we killed all of the all of the uh, the insects and the hives. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful locust armor. Oh, oh, I love it. A welcome reward for a job well done. Uh, Veritas recon armor with integrated burst rocket for short range flight. Slightly less protective than standard recon armor. Okay, so um, be very good for a melee fighter who's got who will have a shield belt and the ability to jump right into the middle of people and then jump out again. I think that's going to be awesome. So we'll definitely equip somebody of that. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at our uh, melee fighters to find out who is the right person for that. What I will do, however, is just make sure that they don't put on before I'm ready. And a good cataphract helmet. Oh, look at that. 138% sharp armor dam uh, resistance. Very, very good. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Good stuff. I think I'm going to put it on Lorenzo because he's got bloodlust, which means that every time somebody dies, he immediately gets a mood boost. Plus he's good at melee of 11. We've got quite a few fighters here. We've got like 11 melee. So I think Lorenzo's probably a really, really good choice for, for that. Because he's going to be happy all the time. So yeah, I think that's uh, probably the the wise move. So the horses have put it away. So Lorenzo will come put it on. I've made the, the changes. So Lorenzo's already picked up the fact that he could wear the locust arm if he wants to. He's taken off his uh, good blue fur duster and his flak vest. And he's got on. Let's have a look. Well, he's got recon helmet, which you'd probably swap out, I would have thought. You'd probably swap out the recon helmet, but we'll see that happen in due course. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there. We've hit time. 
Just looking at these glow pods, I don't think the glow pods are actually worth anything, but they do light up certain areas. What? An infestation? <laughs> oh wow, what? No way! What have we got here? How many of these? I was going to be um, reveling in the fact that I was uh, picking up so many glow pods and all this. This is serious amount of money here. Um, okay, that's interesting. Let's get the boomlopes back into a safe-ish zone. I could use the boomlopes as... That's actually very tempting. I might use boomlopes as mobile hand grenades. A deal. No, uh, um, it's, they're going to blow up the insect jelly. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. All right, let's get everybody into animal safe. No, the boomlopes can go to animal safe. Um, and I'll deal with this on the next episode. I don't think it's many, but that's not weird, having infestation so shortly after the big the big quest one. Oh well, there we go. Such is life. Even more jelly and uh, stuff to sell. I'll be going to market very, very quickly with this. What's my standing? I can't trade with the Empire right now because you need to have a knight to trade with the Empire. But um, I'll take it to these guys, Ithwas, or maybe these guys. I'm sure they've respawned by now and uh, they'll have lots of nice stuff to buy. And oh golly, I'll be buying a lot of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, very insecty. Going to be insecty on the next episode, even though they're going to be quite small. And honestly, I don't think it'll be a big deal dealing with that lot. So you take care of yourself. Any uh, feedback or observations are always very welcome. And I'll catch you on the next episode. This is Bug. Put in the plug.